So here's the six ways that you you make money um, with the super highs, everybody. Okay. First one is asset pairs, the value of each token, right? And and I'm gonna go over that. We we have all kinds of different tokens in our ecosystem, right? You're talking about Rap PE. Talking about Ethereum is is obviously one of the main ones, and Rap PE is one of the main ones. Uh, then you got Starwire, Pixel, Wafu. You got Lyft that's coming. You got M2. Uh, we have more that's coming. Impact, Gift, and uh, NFTs. Those are all other ones that are coming. And I, I don't I don't know Ed's ones, so I'm not going to say it. I can't say it. I don't know that one. But we have we have other ones coming, and those are the assets pairs that we're talking about. And I'm going to show you what that means, right? Uh, fees and transactions. We kind of went over this just recently uh, on, a, on a recent meeting. And, and, and mainly the ones we, we use and we see these things on, Uniswap, Balancer, right? And I'm going to go over that and what that looks like. Beast mode, okay? Beast mode, we, we all understand that's leverage without collateral, right? So you pay for beast mode um, anytime you want, right? Unless you do it recently, then there's a time frame that you kind of hold. You got to wait uh, until it resets for you. But I'll go into that uh, at a deeper level so we understand what that means. Rewards. The rewards. Every time you claim rewards, you're claiming seeds, right? Unless you're in farms where you planted those seeds. Then you're claiming um, cryptocurrencies with those seeds. And, and where what this part is right here, that's what we call Venture Capital 3.0, right? That's what the rewards are all about. Then you get into asset-backed NFTs. This is all new here, Tim. These are things that are just been added onto these super hives. That's why they're called super hives. Again, if you see, these are the things that we just been building and building and building and building upon, right? And they just keep getting better and better and better. So asset backed NFTs, this unlocks the value to the token holder while at the same time, keeping that capital and that liquidity locked for the projects because it's very important for that to happen. That's important to the projects, but we would also like to have a little more mobility for us personally so we can do more with the capital, right? And that's and exclusive then, to be social. Exclusive to be social, man. Nothing like it, it. On, on the planet, right? Yeah. NFT artwork, that's another one, and we're going to go over that. You know, there's all kinds of reasons why why it was pretty cool where we have uh, actual um, art artwork on there, right? You know, there's memorabilia value. There's historical interest, uh, exclusivity, right? Like paintings and digital art. It's it's all you know. It's all a part of it, you know. So uh, digital art is really catching on and being a big deal. So you know you're gonna see. You know, imagine if you had a first edition of of uh, Google or something when they came out with their first uh, little goofy logo that they had, right? I'm just saying that's the memorabilia. If you could really say I had the first one, it's a big deal, everybody. Just that alone, 